Welcome to the What the Goose Podcast for June 20th, 2023. Tomorrow's the summer solstice. This is your tropical update featuring Tropical Storm Brett and also a chance for the next name, Storm Cindy, which will be formation coming up by Friday. We will have Cindy in the Gulf as well, I mean, in the Atlantic, Far Atlantic as well. So expect Cindy to come. That's the next name on the list. But we're going to concentrate on Brett and we'll come back to Cindy. Tropical Storm Brett continues its westward track across the tropical Atlantic. According to the National Hurricane Center, tropical storm watches may be required later today or tonight for portions of the Lesser Antilles. Now, the movement is still west at 21 miles an hour, still making a pretty good clip. Pressure is still down only 1 millibar, down to 1,008 millibars, but max sustained winds are still around 40 miles an hour, making it a minimum tropical storm. That is Brett. Now, we do have the forecast advisory cold and other conditions as warranted by the National Hurricane Center. Right now, because the wind shear is significantly strong in the Caribbean Sea Basin, after it traverses the Lesser Antilles, somewhere between Dominica, Guadalupe, uh, Barbados area, um, and make its direct approach into the Caribbean Sea, it's still forecasted to be a tropical storm. So this tells me instead of a hurricane, remember yesterday we had it as a hurricane, a minimal Category 1 hurricane with winds of 75 miles an hour, sustained winds in the core of the system. Now they've downgraded the whole system to tropical storm conditions with maybe some hurricane gusts through the uh, Lesser Antilles, but coming into the um, Caribbean Basin by Saturday, it now has the cone to shift it further south. So we're dealing with a much weaker system. That is the good news with Tropical Storm Brett. So it will continue its westward journey versus taking a turn to the north and northwest if it was moving around the ridge of high pressure above Bermuda here. Um, so that's not going to be the case. Since this is a weaker storm, it's going to continue its westward track around the periphery of the high pressure system. Um, and also, since it's a weaker system, Tropical Storm Brett won't be strengthening quite rapidly because of the wind shear that's in effect right now. The heavy south, um, sorry, the heavy north-northwest wind shear that's blowing across the system once it gets closer to the Lesser Antilles and into the Caribbean Sea Basin. That is what we're dealing with here. So the timeline has pretty much stayed consistent here. The cone has shifted further south, as you can see. That is gave, that's put Puerto Rico... Um, Dominican Republic, Haiti, U.S. Virgin Islands, um, St. Croix, all those places out of the cone. However, as you know, the hazardous conditions extend far outside the cone. So that means that rain will still be possible in those areas, but they're going to get more of the outer bands of the system. As you can see, it's a very compact system. It's not as huge as, say, a Harvey or a Irma or, you know, a, it, it, it's not. Um, the system is big. Yes, it's a hurricane. I mean, it's a tropical storm. It's hundreds, hundreds of miles wide, but it's not as big as it could be. Um, at this time now behind it we have Cindy and Cindy is starting to get better organized um, now conditions do appear favorable for more development 48 percent and 48 hours you got 70 percent chance 80 percent chance in seven days so it's definitely looking like this would be Cindy and this is following along the same path as uh, Brett will follow but this is further south latitude so we'll have to see how that's going to be affected but as far as Brett is concerned the main things that we're going to have to worry about now since Brett is a weaker storm is heavy rain and that's going to be the flooding um, of situation right now they had the max sustained winds getting closer to a strong tropical storm 65 miles an hour this all could change depending on what the wind shear lets up in the next few days remember the atmosphere is dynamic um, and the Hurricane Center will make those adjustments as needed, the, um, the great, uh, wonderful folks there, and as well as their team and, and, and the aircraft. So the key messages, of course, is going to be with Tropical Storm Brett, it's going to be more so a Caribbean storm right now. Uh, Lesser Antilles. So if you've got family members in Barbados, Dominica, Guadalupe, St. Lucia, those areas, huh? Um, Saba, um, St. Eustatius, St. Martin, uh, those areas down there you want to be looking out for it. So a tropical storm watch is probably already in effect for Barbados coming this afternoon or tonight by the 8 a.m. advisory. There it is. Tropical storm watch for Barbados. And additional watches will be issued within the Lesser Antilles Islands later tonight as the system traverses closer and closer um, to the landfall. So uh, that's what we're looking at, a tropical storm, a strong tropical storm. So that is the good news. So you can expect some power outages in some of these areas, like I said, but nothing crazy like they would have if this was a Category 1 or above hurricane. So this is the excellent news here. Now I want to show you the rest of the satellite here. Caribbean Basin looks absolutely phenomenal, quiet. Uh, North Atlantic looks quiet. The Gulf of Mexico looks quiet because these heavy bands of showers that are coming down from associated with a trough that's coming through, uh, you know, the Gulf of Mexico area. So heavy showers from New Orleans, uh, the Mobile, could be some water spouts over those areas too, some marine warnings, Pensacola, of course. And, uh, you know, those areas are good. 
Now you see, so we have Tropical Storm Brett, we have Cindy behind it, and we also have another wave, a vigorous wave, that's coming, getting ready to come off the coast of Senegal, Gambia, uh, Guinea-Bissau right now in the next day or so. So that one also looks like a, healthy, looks like a healthier chance to develop, and that could be our next D-name storm heading into next Friday. So we have to keep a close eye on that. Um, and see how that develops. But once again, with Tropical Storm Brett, the good news is, is that Tropical Storm Brett um, doesn't appear to be um, heading to a hurricane status, number one. Number two, the wind shear is taking over. Even though we have warm sea surface temperatures, the north-northwest wind shear is going to be in the Caribbean Basin and just outside of the Caribbean Basin here is taking over to help limit the strength of Brett. And also, this, so that's the case, it's going to be a, a heavy rainmaker providing as much as four to six to seven inches of rain through the um, Lesser Antilles. And then once we get into the Caribbean Basin on Saturday, we have to see whether or not Jamaica or Cayman Islands um, or, or possibly the Yucatan Peninsula of Me Mexico could be affected by this system, depending on how far west it goes before a turn or is it going to continue on its westward track. Those are the next few things for the computer models to figure out once it gets closer through to the Lesser Antilles. Um, and, the, and the hurricane hunters get a better fix on that. So, and another good thing about Brett too is, is that Brett, its internal structure um, has weakened somewhat. There isn't that banding outflow feature as much on the north northeast side. There is, and close to the center, but on the um, southwest and the west side, it's definitely the structure has deteriorated. The storm structure itself has deteriorated. Um, now, this is not to say that it cannot re-strengthen, but with, um, but going into wind shear when it's already not in right now it's in a very environment of light wind shear and it's not doing so well so going into an environment where wind shear will, will be moderately heavy um it's not good and that's why the hurricane center reduced it to tropical storm strength now this is not to say that it can blossom again because we've seen that with ian um where you know it kind of almost fizzled out over cuba eastern cuba between eastern cuba and um and, 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 you know, in the Florida Straits and down the center, it just rapidly intensified, you know, and when the wind shear laxed up. So, you know, we have to keep our guard up because if the wind shear laxes up and there's almost no wind shear, then this thing can grow just like into, you know, a hurricane again or another system. But right now, that doesn't likely appear likely because even though you have warm sea surface temperatures, the wind shear overrides that. Um, because systems don't like dry air and training in the system. And obviously in the mid and upper levels, um, outflow you know, has to be good. Everything has to be stacked, vertically stacked perfectly for the system to develop. And we just don't have that here, ladies and gentlemen, on with system with Brett. So that's the good news. It's mainly going to be a rainmaker for the Los Antilles and the Caribbean thing uh, areas as of right now. Now, um, Cindy coming behind it. It looks poorly disorganized, but it will get its act together and it will become a tropical storm Cindy right behind Brett. And then we have a third wave that's just coming off now that looks very vigorous and very healthy. We'll see if that becomes the next D-name storm after we get through these two these two storms. That D-name storm could be coming up as early as, like I said once again, as early as um, Saturday of this week or Sunday, depending on how the hurricane center wants to play it. But that does look like a vigorous wave coming off, very heavy convection coming off the African coast. And that could be, don't be surprised if that be our next D-name storm before we end the month of June, pretty much. So this is what we have going on, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to show you. I want to also show you the, uh, let's, let's go to, let's go in specifically with the water vapor with Brett um, here just one moment here you can see the water vapor image and you can see how the storms are trying to blossom, blossom around the center here let me pause it for you you see the storms trying to blossom around the center but you see a disjointed look it's already experiencing that wind shear effect from the north and northwest already as you can see here and um, that's what's limiting the development of this system um, and also the speed of it is limiting the development it's moving west at 21 miles an hour so it doesn't have time to gather itself together strengthen it so we'll be back for another advisory tonight or tomorrow possibly and um stay safe hurricane season is just beginning be blessed thank you